Hey guys, welcome back. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you some DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. This is also episode one in my huge I Love Summer series. I'd love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my giveaways. Without further ado, go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to create a super adorable market fresh sign. So I'm taking these two Dollar Tree baby first signs, I'm flipping them over, and I'm going to also take some popsicle sticks and I want to hot glue down the seam of the sign to give this sign some stability. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the popsicle sticks to the center. Now, if you guys don't have this sign, that's totally fine. You guys can use really any sign that you have from the Dollar Tree. Just use two of them or even a scrap piece of board. I'm also reinforcing either end of the little sign with more popsicle sticks. I'm just using hot glue and hot gluing them right onto there. And also a lot of you will ask about my hot glue gun. I'll tell you, I love it. And I'll link one in my Amazon store for you all down below. Okay. Okay, so now I'm trying out the Dollar Tree chalkboard paint. I was super excited to find this in my store in the Crafters Square. So as you guys can see on either side of this sign, it says a year of first. I'm guessing that that was supposed to be like a baby sign maybe, but I loved this scrolly design and I knew if I took this chalkboard paint, but you could also probably just use a black acrylic paint that you could at Walmart. It's about 50 cents in their apple barrel craft section. Anyway, I just want to color in the design on this sign because I don't want it to say a year of first, but I still want those really cute scrolly designs. Again, if you guys don't have this sign, paint um, a long piece of board or sign black and then just add some little scrolly designs with some white paint. Now I'm using this Main Street Fresh Market sign. This came from Dollar General and it was only a dollar, which I thought was a total steal. And I'm just taking some hot glue and I'm gonna hot glue it directly to the center of this sign. So once I have that completed, I realized that I wanted to add in some beautiful flowers since it does say fresh flower market. So I decided to use some of this clip art that I found online. I'm linking all of my clip art in clip art albums on Facebook. If you guys are wondering, you can look there. Um, so I just cut out some clip art and this is kind of looking a little bit like some pioneer woman flowers, which I'm absolutely crushing on. If you guys have seen some of my cottage farmhouse videos, you'll recognize some of these beautiful flowers. I'm just so in love with them. Um, but go ahead and cut out several flowers or really any pretty little napkin or any little flower clip art that you have will do. I want to layer them and also just make them kind of look like they're blooming out from the side of this sign. So once I have them kind of mapped out where I want to put them, I'm using some Mod Podge. They sell Mod Podge at any of the craft stores, Walmart, or even Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add Mod Podge to the back of this. Honestly, you all could just use regular glue as well. I do love the Mod Podge though, because you can add a layer over it and it kind of seals it really nicely. You can also use polyacrylic in the same way. So I'm just adding some Mod Podge to the back of my little flowers and arranging them to fit perfectly on this super adorable sign. I also added clip art to the other side. I Mod Podged it and then sealed it over the top with another layer of Mod Podge. And here it is. I found the perfect spot for it in the corner in my kitchen. There's actually a huge bunch of cords back behind it. So this is perfect. I really love the aesthetic of not seeing cords. So I thought this would be so fun and budget friendly 
And oh my goodness, you guys, I'm just really loving this. I think it fits perfectly in with all of my Pioneer Woman and Mackenzie Childs goodies. And a lot of these Pioneer Womans are DIY. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take another clip art image. I just printed this on my computer. Now, if you all don't have a computer printer, you could always send these images to a printing place like CVS or Walgreens or Walmart, anywhere that will print photos. It should be Able to print images for you all. I think you can go online and do that fairly easily, but I'm just going to very carefully cut out this little clip art. Again, I'm linking my clip art on my Facebook page in a clip art album. So just go to my Facebook page. You can scroll down. It's Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook, and you'll find that clip art really easily. I'll put a link down below for you guys. So I'm just going to cut out this pretty image, and I believe this is kind of like a pioneer woman flower. And I want to take this little Dollar Tree bowl. This is just a Dollar Tree mixing bowl. So this project is super inexpensive and budget friendly. I'm using my Mod Podge. Again, this is the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I found it at Michael's, but again, really any Mod Podge will do. The dishwasher safe Mod Podge is good because you can really wipe it off without the um, a Mod Podge wiping off. I hope that makes sense. I really wouldn't put it in the dishwasher and I'll probably only be using this for display purposes to pop things in um, like lemons or oranges or some extra little towels or packaged goodies, even though the Mod Podge is on the outside. So I won't be baking with this if you guys know what I mean or using it as like a true mixing bowl, just more of like a storage bowl. But I still think it's a really cute kind of pioneer woman dupe. I do love her goodies and I buy her stuff at Walmart all the time. It's actually really affordable, but I also love to show you guys even more in it expensive ways to dupe some of those items if you're just trying to save up. Now I'm sharing with you guys that I did use poly acrylic on the front of this, but you can very easily use Mod Podge. I wanted to see if the poly acrylic tended to bleed like my Mod Podge does, and it did. So I really don't think that there's a huge difference in the poly acrylic and the Mod Podge. Comment and let me know if you guys know if there's a huge difference or not in the finish on it. But again, I just want to seal the finish on the outside of this. Um, again, I won't be using this to mix or put, you know, food in, just little storage goodies and whatnot. But I am using a paper towel to go ahead and um, clean up any of the bleeding. And I have had you all tell me that you can use hairspray over it before you uh, polyacrylic over an item. But for the life of me, I couldn't find any hairspray until the end of my project, of course. Doesn't that always happen when you're crafting and you just tear the house apart looking for something? and then you can't find it anywhere. But here is how it looks mixed in with some of my goodies. I just popped some cute little spoons and spatulas inside of it. I popped a jar down inside of it so they'll kind of stay upright. And then of course, some super adorable little towels. I found those towels in a four pack at Dollar General. So, so fun and fabulous. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to create a really beautiful tray. You guys ask me all the time about my tray that has like a scrolly design around it. So I'm going to take four of the Dollar Tree picture frames and you want to try to choose picture frames that have a flat bottom. I'm going to completely remove all of the contents inside of the picture frames. The next step, I want to take my wire cutters and I want to pull all of those little tabs out of three of my picture frames. I do want to leave tabs in the bottom part of the picture frame because that's what's going to hold my little tray part together in the base of it. So remove the tabs on several of the layers. And I will tell you hindsight 2020, if I look back on this project now, I would have probably been fine just using three frames. So you could use even just two or three frames on this project. I did want it to be a deeper tray, kind of like the one I have at home, just to share that with you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I have all the little tabs removed, I'm going to take some E6000 glue and I'm just going to run it on the base of this. Always put your um, lid back on your E6000 glue and then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to kind of run the hot glue in between where I E6000 glue. The E6000 is going to help my project stay together permanently and the hot glue will help it not move around. So it's a temporary hold and a permanent hold. And that E6000 glue does take about 24 hours to dry completely. So I went ahead and popped that on top of the frame and now I'm just gonna repeat the process all the way around. I will also recommend that you all do your gluing on the underside, not on the top side of the frame. That will help you show a little bit less glue. And I did just use a paper towel to kind of clean up any of my glue. Now I'm a safety girl, so I really wanted my tray to stay together, but I kind of feel like I could have done with a little bit less glue and there would have been a little bit less overspill, if that makes sense. So you guys could probably try it with a little bit less glue and have a little bit less of a mess on your hands. Now I'm going to take one of those Dollar Tree scrolly frames and this originally came with a mirror in it and I'm going to take some really sharp scissors. Hopefully I didn't dull my scissors with this, but I'm just going to cut apart the little side pieces here. Again, I want it to appear like it has a scrolly frame around it and this was my best option on this. I'm also just taking a dab of sandpaper to kind of smooth down the rough edges. I also used a little bit of sandpaper on the outside of my entire tray just to smooth down any of the gluey spots or edges with that. This step is totally optional. Now once I have that done I'm going to take this Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte spray paint. I love the Rust-Oleum 2X brand. It's really nice. It's really great coverage um, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a really good coat and then I do go back in and give it a second coat just to make sure it's really covered the entire way. Now once I have that finished I'm going to pull all my tabs up. My trays flipped over and I'm just going to go ahead and clean my glass with just a little bit of alcohol and then I'm going to pop it down inside of my tray. I wanted to make sure I got it really clean. Um, that way there were no smudges on the inside part here. And then once I have that finished, I can just go ahead and begin to put my tray back together. So originally it came with the little um, liner. So I want to put that in to frame out my little clip art here. Again, this is the Pioneer Woman inspired clip art. And I'm also just adding the little back tab frame back in. Now I do want to take some of these Dollar Tree little cube blocks or just little wooden cubes and this step again is optional but I decided that I wanted to give it some little legs so I'm just hot gluing some legs underneath this. I'm hoping to put this in my coffee bar area and sometimes that area can get wet so instead of letting it sit flat on the surface of my counter I thought maybe giving it legs would be a little bit better that way in case it gets wet since it is kind of next to my sink um, it'll be on a riser but again this this is optional. If you were going to use this in a different space in your home, you wouldn't have to add these legs. But I did just go ahead and hot glue those legs on. I also spray painted those. Um, and now I'm just taking some of those little felt tabs. These are like furniture protectors. And I want to put some felt tabs on the base of this. That way this can move around and not scratch any surface that I decided to use it on. And so this was super easy and super fun. It was a little bit of work assembling it all, but be patient with yourself. I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to drop the supply list for these projects down in the comments below. Hopefully that will help. Okay, so it looks really, really cute right now. And I really love it actually just as is, but I did want to just fancy it up and doll it up a little bit. So I'm taking the little framed pieces and these were just from that little mirror that we cut off. And I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue right here on the corner. And that's going to just secure this little framed piece right here. Thank you. 
I also decided to give it kind of some faux handles so I'm adding some more of those little Dollar Tree cubes and I had cut apart another part of one of those scrolly frames and I'm just going to dot the cubes on right here where that space is. The space looked a little funny. I don't know. Comment let me know what you guys think. But I decided to just go ahead and add these on. Now it would be really adorable to use actual handles here. But I'm kind of trying to just use what I have and not run out and buy brand new things all the time for every DIY. Still kind of limiting my trips just a little bit. Comment and let me know how you guys are doing with that. But anyway, I'm just using these little cubes because I thought it would be cute and it ended up being actually really cute. So I'm hot gluing the little cubes on. And again, these are those cubes and I just spray painted them white to match the actual tray. And then I had just cut a little piece off and that's going to be my darling little handles. So I know this is not quite like the tray that I have that you guys ask about all the time. Um, I've been trying to dupe it for you guys and just been racking my brain to try to use Dollar Tree supplies, but I think it came out so adorable. And I just popped that little red and white check um, towel over that edge that was kind of still open there. The edge was fine, but I just thought it would look really cute and make it look a little bit more finished. So I'm kind of faking that centerpiece there just a little bit, but comment and let me know what you all think about this and will you be able to recreate this? Hopefully you guys can find some of these supplies at your local Dollar Tree or even some scrolly wood pieces along the side of it if you can't find those scrolly frames. But most Dollar Trees do have, you know, several frames that you can find. Just remember to find the flat frames that you can stack up on top of each other. I think this looks absolutely adorable in my kitchen in this little special spot. I may even be stacking mugs on it. I don't know. I love having new fun things to decorate with. Okay, so for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take these Dollar Tree plastic spoons and I did have some clip art left over from the last project that we did. So I'm just using that. Again, I'm going to be posting a clip art album on my Facebook page. You guys just scroll down <laughs> through there until you find it and then you can just save the image and um, just print the image off of your computer. Computer. And if you don't have this, just find any pretty little napkin. Dollar Tree actually carries really cute napkins and Walmart's also carrying some pretty floral napkins as well. So I'm just taking this dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Again, this is going to be only for decor purposes. Do not use this to mix food with. This is just for fun and just for decor. But I Mod Podged my little clip art onto the base of this and then I Mod Podged a little bit of Mod Podge on the outside just to give it a little bit more of a finish and a seal protect it. Again, you guys can also use polish acrylic um, to seal it off as well if you have that on hand otherwise your Mod Podge is perfectly fine and safe and good to go and look at how adorable this turned out popped into my little pioneer woman inspired bowl as always, you all, please comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video. I'm so excited to introduce this I Love Summer series to you. We're going to have so much fun this summer. Just feeling joyful, looking forward to the future with joy, and puttering on around our gardens and our homes, crafting and decorating. And I'm so thankful to have you all here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is a blessing and a true honor. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia Tolivia's Romantic Home. I'm a dedicated wife, mama, and crafter. I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. This is episode one in my huge I Love Summer series. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'm doing a ton of giveaways this month, you guys. I also even have a candle giveaway. The announcement for the winner on that is going to be Thursday, May 4th. So you guys comment and subscribe. That will enter you into that giveaway. 
And I just want to let you guys know that I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I have a free little group page where everybody that loves to craft and decorate just shares photos of their home decor, their ideas, they ask questions for advice and all kinds of fun things. So if you want to socialize with other crafters, pop over to my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free to join. I would love to have you guys over there. I also share a good morning cup of coffee with you on Instagram every morning. I am a morning person and I try to stay as positive as possible. So pop over there, follow me for a cup and a ray of sunshine. I love you all to the moon and back. I hope you're having an amazing summer so far. And I have so many more crafty decor projects to share with you all always on a budget. And I just want to tell you all remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.